Boom. There we go. <laughs> we gotta clean up again. It is what it is. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again. And today I'm gonna show you how to mine the new fork of something, Caspa or a fork of a fork called Asterix. This one is supposed to, of course, target AI. Uh, like everything else, but if you're interested in how to mine it, this is the video for you. It is listed over on Zegex. I'll leave a link to Zegex down in the description below in case you're looking to mine and liquidate. So first things first, there is one mining pool currently available at mining for people. Of course, you can solo mine this particular sub, this particular project, but I will leave that over on my locals, which I have set up over there on how to build a node for this network and so on and so forth. If you're interested, head on over to sonofattack.locals.com for all of your solo mining and spec mining needs. Today, we're just covering the standard how to mine. The first thing that you'll need to do is head on over to their website at asterisk.network and find the tab for web wallet. Now it is best to build a command line wallet because a wallet that is through the web will be dependent on the uptime of a third party node service and you don't know if they'll keep that up 24 7 if there were some issues with that particular node everyone utilizing the web wallet will be down and you'll be at an advantage for of course providing liquidity to the exchange so keep that in mind but that aside it is like every other caspa fork wallet as far as the web goes you'll go to wallet.asterisk.network.com and click create new wallet you'll type in a simple password and then you will click next at this point it will provide you with the wallet seed phrase and that was just one of my password things there savers but it will provide you with a 12 word seed phrase and the best thing to do here is find some sort of screenshot tool i like mono snap and we can just screen cap it real quick and put that over to the side. I recommend saving that to an encrypted USB and or of course writing it down and storing it in a fireproof safe which would be of course the safest way to do it. So at this point you have the 12 words saved written down or stored on a encrypted drive and you go ahead and click next. At this point it will ask you what is word three. You'll find word three on the recently screen capped uh, <laughs> picture that you have which in this case is going to be treat so we'll select treat. It will then ask us for the fourth word, which is lawsuit. So we'll select lawsuit and then it is asking us for the eighth word, which is invite. So we'll go ahead and click invite and it'll say great success and you can click done. At this point, it will generate you a receive address. You'll click the little copy button over there. We can just open up a quick notepad and we can paste it into the notepad or later. So we have our asterisk address right here. I also like putting it in like a word document with the 12 words as seed phrase. It makes it a little easier so you can identify it later on, but you'll just need this for mining a little bit later on. We'll go ahead and go and minimize that. Now we are going to go over Hive OS and Windows, but we'll start with Hive OS. If we head on over to Hive OS, you can see that I am mining, but it's not as simple as just selecting all the sheets and moving forward because you will have to put in some custom stuff for the flight sheet itself. So if we go over here and we go to flight sheets, we're going to create a new flight sheet. We will type in AIX for the wallet. We're going to click add wallet. We're going to go over to the asterisk wallet, copy the address, and then go back and paste that into here. I'm going to name this tutorial so I know you guys have access to it. And I'm going to click create. At this point, we're going to say configure the pool in the miner. And we are going to select SRB miner, which supports AMD as well 
as nvidia so i haven't tested a ton of amd gpus on this when i did they weren't performing well so in this system right now we have 4070s which perform pretty fantastic on this particular coin so i'm going to click set up minor config the first thing we want to do is make sure the hash algorithm is asterisk hash and then on the wallet we're going to click the little percent wall percent which will pull the wallet of course from the wallet section that we created worker name i'll select worker name and the pool and serve report we have to manually fill out at this given time so you will need to go over to the mining for people and grab the stratum here which i think it just copies everything here and then we will go back to our flight sheet i like to just paste it down here and then pull out what i need so i'm gonna pull out the pool which will be this. I'm going to paste that right here. The, uh, the password's going to be X. And then for the rest of these, the only thing I want to really leave is going to be disable CPU. And then for the actual GPU, in my particular case, I am going to be skipping GPU 2. And that is just because I, uh, you know, I don't, have well i have an integrated amd processor in there with the 9700x that i don't want it mining on but you will not need the gpu id in your particular case at that point you'll click apply changes and name the flight sheet whatever you like and then you can go ahead and click create flight sheet so at that point you will have your flight sheet ready to go you'll go back to your workers tab select the worker click the flight sheet find the coin and hit that right there and click apply at this point you can either start a hive shell if you're remote to connect to your rig and monitor for any errors you might run into or you can click into the rig if you're on the same network find the ip here and connect via web shell in this case the default is user and one unless you changed your password in which case i think you know what that would be so at this point, you can type in the miner and you will be seeing essentially it will download the miner and install it. Now, this miner in particular is 2.6.6, but Doctor has released 2.6.7. It hasn't gotten injected into the Hive OS yet, but if you want to, he has a little script here that you can run to get to the latest. And this is actually to fix a low difficulty share issue on Varus hash so it shouldn't impact it but if you wanted to you could copy this script out and you can either paste it directly into the console that you just went to monitor it with or you can go in here and you can select the run command and paste that into here and press run and at that point it'll send a command to this miner to run that command and update to the latest version it will still show as 2.6.6 in hive os but when you run it what you'll notice is that it will end up basically showing you 2.7 when you run into here so at this point it is trying to run it again but it'll kind of stop start all that well actually it's already done and you can see here srb minor version 2.6.7 is it needed right now no but to be up to date if you go to srb minor and there's a fix for that particular algorithm you're mining get ahead of the curve update it before everybody else and typically you can get a slight advantage there uh, and this is a competitive scene, even in the home mining. So keep that in mind. Now that we have that completed, the next thing that I'm going to do is show you how to mine it on Windows. So on Windows, we are going to go to the Git hub for srb miner we're going to find the latest version which is 2.6.7 and we're going to download it but before we do that if you're running windows you will need to add essentially an antivirus exception and you can do that by coming down here and searching for virus and threat protection what i like to do is i will go to my desktop and i will just create a miners folder you can create it wherever you like and then we're going to go to more settings under virus and threat protection and add or remove exclusions it will have a uac prompt that you have to click yes to that's why the screen just went black 
and then you'll click the add an exclusion and then you will type in folder or select the folder option go to the miners folder that you created earlier and click select folder at this point it won't flag that for any viruses or anything along those lines keep in mind though that because you have to do this with a majority of miners there could be uh basically viruses actually built into some miners and i wouldn't recommend doing this on a machine that you have personal financial information on or anything you don't want to get leaked because of this in particular i would still also leave the virus enabled or the virus protection in windows enabled in case there's other stuff going on or people try to hijack your rig that's just my suggestion as it were. Now we're gonna go back to the GitHub and we're going to click the download for Windows 64 zip. We are going to go to our desktop, find that miners folder and save it there. At this point, we are going to click and hover over and open the folder. We're going to right click and we are going to extract all and it should extract it here for us. Then we're going to open it up. And in a lot of cases, there will already be a batch file ready to go so you're going to right click it and say edit in notepad your computer should open a notepad that looks similar to this and things that you're going to want to change is change this this first part in mining for people to the stratum that is closest to you or in a lot of cases what you can do is do the fi and in the case of fi it should automatically find that for you so it's great that these mining pools have gotten to that point i'm going to do fi we're going to leave the port as it were and then we're going to go back to our asterisk wallet copy that wallet over out of here go back here and paste that where it does, says asterisk dot wallet paste that right here and we will do a control s to save at this point we're going to go back to the folder that we have that running in and we are going to double click start mining asterisk it will say that windows is trying to prevent it click more info and run anyways At this point it will go through the process of setting everything up and beginning to mine i do not know necessarily how well this is going to work since i'm recording on the same machine i also need to make sure that this doesn't have anything else in it looks like it's correct i think if we do run into issues it is so it's saving all or it's basically mod modifying the gpu uh, all of these right here and then it will take off and mine it so it's basically setting all of these within windows not sure I actually wanted to do that in this particular machine, but eventually it will look, uh, once it's gone through all of these and set all of that allocation, it will look similar to, if not identical to what we see in the Hive OS shell. So the next thing is finding out how much you're mining, etc. To do that, you're going to go to your asterisk wallet, click the copy and head on over to miningforpeople.com forward slash pool forward slash asterisk dash P -P -L -N -S -B -F. And then at this point at the top, you can paste in with a control V or right click and paste the address and click the search button. At this point, what you will see is essentially what rigs you have connected. Kind of funny that it says where it's from. I don't even know where mine's showing from at this point. And actually, I wonder if I was incorrect on that. So there are a lot. Let me correct myself here real quick. Okay, that's actually Finland for FI. So there are pools now. Let me make a correction here. I will need to set this to US dot for my particular geographical location. You will need to find those on the webpage here for the Stratum servers and set to that. There are, most mining pools now have updated to having like a general eye or, or general one that will automatically find the best Stratum for you to connect to and it will put that in. Obviously, mine is not doing that right now. The other oddity here is that mine in particular is also showing uh, coming from Europe, which I'm not quite sure why that is happening, but there we go. It seems like it's fixed at least. Nope, there we go. So it still thinks it's in Europe, but it is what it is. That is what we're showing. We can change that to U US if we want, and it would be no issues as far as that's concerned. Just go ahead and take a look at that for yourself. I've also covered how to check the latency to servers in your particular situation. 
and go find that video. It's still relevant. That tool from two miners still functions and works properly. So feel free to go use that and check that video out. I'll leave a link down in the description below as well. As you can see here, we're off to the races and hashing away on an RTX 4090 at about one, two, 0.2 giga hash a second it is much faster still to solo mine with the asterisk miner it appears to me so with that in mind as it were it might be better to still do that of course this will build up and maybe get a little bit better eventually it will show here you can see actually it is showing here it's just set to default because i didn't name it uh, if you want to name it you can go to the flight sheet and you can change the name i believe by just doing dash dash worker address is that what it is let's see real quick i think it is it's not listed here i have to go look at which one that is but i think it's worker address let's double check it's hard to remember all of them to be honest with you guys parameters worker uh, blah, 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 blah. worker value so it'd just be dash dash worker we would go into here add that at the end and name it that and control s save and rerun it and you'll be off to the races as far as that's concerned it looks like this did get a little bit better but not much better at 1.3 giga hash a second and then if you wanted to see what the 4090s were at we're at 478 mega hash a second and 393 mega hash a second. One of those is a 4070 super and the other is a 4070. So finally, if you want to, let's say you've been mining and you want to send to the exchange, you can head on over to your wallet here and click the send button and you will find the recipient address by going to you can find that by click going to zegx and clicking the wallet button and then you will basically look for aix and search but box eventually all right so you'll type in aix you click the deposit button and then you will get a deposit address here if it opens up again but it doesn't look like it's done that yet looks like they're actually kind of still under construction as far as this is, this is concerned but you'll copy the address out of here go back to your wallet paste the address you know basically into here even though mine says undefined at the moment type in the amount that you want to send and you don't need to put in a priority fee just leave that and you can put a note there maybe note it as mining so you can track that later and then you will just go back here and click the spot market you'll search for aix click into the aix portion here and then you will essentially sell it here now you can do the limit order to make sure you sell it at a certain price if you just want to dump it, which I don't recommend for small cap coins like this, but if you have a little bit, maybe it doesn't matter. You can click the market order and just type in however much you want. In this particular case, I can only buy, but you would click the sell button in here. I could click here and buy it. Boom. I bought a market order. There we go. Um, Yeah, I can't even buy $11 worth. There we go. Come on come on we'll just pump we'll pump that we'll pump that market up for you guys there we go that's as much as we can buy right now we just bought twenty-eight thousand. oh we'll see if it goes anywhere you know what i mean but that's pretty much how you would do it you would come here once you have it loaded up put however much you want to sell and then click the sell button i'll leave a link for zagats down in the description below a couple of things that I wanted to point out before we move on, in case you're wondering if you're going to hold this or whatever, the dev fund is quite hefty. You can take a look over at it here uh, within the tokenomics. You'll see that there is 50% to investors, 15% develop development, 15% exchanges, 10% marketing, 5% team, 5% community. Now, my understanding is they've sold uh, quite a bit of the exchanges in uh, pre-market, uh, ex basically over-the-counter trade. I do happen to know who that individual was that purchased it. 
So I don't think that he's going to be getting rid of it. There were more that it sold as well. Just so you guys know on top of him, as far as for exchanges and my understanding was the average was like 0. 0.0005. So as of right now, they're currently at a loss. Um, that's to be expected, but there you go. Not a huge fan of big dev, dev funds uh, personally. I like Fair Launch. I like Novel. A lot of this stuff is not typically what I would uh, want to see in a crypto project myself, but it is one of the newest coins to mine. So I'm going to try to release these videos no matter what the coin is so that you have access to find out how to mine it if you are interested in mining it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bells down below. And I will see you next Tuesday.